Hey there, Susan. Sorry to bother you, but I was just curious if you knew where I put my pen case. I know that I had it on my desk when I left work yesterday, but I haven't seen it all day since arriving this morning. Good morning, Pearl. I'm really sorry to say, but I have no idea where that could be. I see. But the thing is that the pen case is just a really popular brand known for how cute and stylish it is. And you and I are the only women in our whole department, so... I just really can't see why anyone but you would be interested in taking it. But if you think that you can treat me like that just because I'm new here, then you've got another thing coming. I know that you're just hiding it from me. Wait a second, let's slow down for just a moment. You said that you remember it being on your desk when you went home yesterday evening, right? That's right. I was using it pretty much until the end of the day. So I know that it had to be there when I left. Okay, so you know it had to be on your desk at that time. The only thing is that I actually left for a business trip in the afternoon. It was probably up in the air by the time you were leaving the office yesterday. Oh, wait, you had to go on a business trip? Yep, I had to fly all the way to New York, so it wasn't like I could pop back into the office anyways. Oh, well, I had no idea that you were on a business trip. Well, I take it that you're at the office right now, yes? So why don't you just ask others who are there if they've seen it, and not to worry about whether it was a guy or a girl who took it? I mean, we've all been there. When we need a pen and can't find one. I have a mug full of pens that are free for people to take just in case something like this happens. Oh, right. Well, I guess I'll just use one of those for now. That's no problem. Anyways, I'm about to start a meeting up here, so we'll talk later. Susan, is it true that you're really going to be getting married? Oh, wow. I guess the office grapevine works quite quickly, doesn't it? But I thought that you were already like 45 years or something like that. Right? You mean to tell me that you've never been married before now? Is everything alright? What do you mean is everything alright? I'm afraid I don't understand. I mean, this guy isn't like some scammer or something like that, right? <sighs> well, I certainly hope not. I would be in quite a bit of a trouble if he was. But I heard about this on the news once. There are plenty of men out there who are looking to marry middle-aged women who make a lot of money just so that they can take all of it for themselves. Are you sure that you're not being targeted for something like that right now? I really, really don't think that there is anything to be worried about in my marriage. Thank you for offering your concerns, though. I think things are going to be just fine, though. In fact, the man that I'm going to marry is someone that I've known since I was in my 20s and is very close with my family. In fact, we've basically been dating for the past decade or so. But due to various circumstances, we were never able to actually get married until now. Wow, I had no idea any of this was going on for you at all, Susan. Well, I don't like to talk about my private life too much at work. I wasn't trying to hide anything from anyone, but no one ever asked about it, so I didn't see any reason to announce it either, although the bosses and management here knew about this for some time. I see, I see. Well, thank you so much for explaining all of that to me. I really appreciate it. Sure thing, you seemed very worried for me, so I just wanted to lay those to rest. Hey Pearl, are you there? You do know that the work date has already started, right? Are you going to be late today as well? Well, well, well. If it isn't Miss Susan. That's right, I'm going to be late, actually. But I'm working on a different project for my career right now. A different project? I don't understand. What are you talking about? I mean that I found a way to climb the corporate ladder in this place. And so I've been given a very important role that I'm fulfilling. I'm sorry, but I'm still not following at all. I don't remember hearing about anything like that. And I doubt that someone still going through their trial period at the company would be given any sort of extra important assignment. Well, I suppose that just goes to show what you know, huh? 
because of the fact of the matter is that I'm special and you're not. And just what is that supposed to mean, huh? Listen, Susan, I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of the day off, and you can take over from my projects today. I'm sorry, but you do realize that by acting this way, I'm going to have to make a comment that will be brought up at the end of this trial period, right? And I'm most certainly not going to be doing your work for you. Sorry, don't have time to read all that. I'm going on a spa day with my boyfriend. Pearl, you can't just ditch work like this. Honestly, you're acting completely irresponsible. Oh, Susan, are you there? Hello, Pearl. I really can't believe that you didn't show up at all for work today. Just what has gotten into you? I knew you were going to bring that up, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to let you in on a little secret so that you'll finally know how to get off my back and do as I say. Just what are you going on about now? Well, the boyfriend I mentioned is actually none other than Brian Colehouse. Wait a second, Brian as in the CEO's son, Brian? That's right, the very one and the same. So when I say that I'm away on special duty or need some time off, I don't want to hear any gripes from you again. Now hold on a second, I don't see how one thing relates to the other. I don't really care what you do in your private life, but you should keep that separate from your professional one. Ugh, you seriously make me so mad. Do you know that? What do you mean? What is wrong about what I'm saying? I mean that you're not getting the point that I'm trying to make, and it's pissing me off. I'm sorry, but I think the one failing to see the important points here is you, Pearl. Oh, and one more thing. I know all about your little secret. My secret? Can you please just start making sense already? I know that you stole some of the money that the company gave you for your business trip and pocketed it. Excuse me? What did you just say? You were so, so close to getting away with it too. It would have been the perfect crime. And just who told you that I did something like that? Brian did, of course. And there's no way that he would be wrong about something like this. Well, he is, because that is just not true. But who would ever want to marry an old woman who steals from her own company? <laughs> That's why I knew I had to make Brian mine. Again, no idea what you're talking about at all. Well, not only is Brian young and rich and the heir to the company, but he also said that he would fire you when he's in charge. Okay, Susan. I have just about had it all with all the crazy talk. I seriously have no idea where you or Brian are getting your information, but this is just becoming malicious. Oops, I've got to go now. Brian is calling me. We booked a whole week in this amazing spa hotel in the mountains, so I won't be showing up to work until I get back. Now wait just one second. You can't just say all of these things and run off. Enjoy your lonely life, you old hag. I'm so sorry for stealing Brian from you. <laughs> I still have no idea what you're talking about, Susan. What is the matter with you? I'm back from my vacation. Oh, man. Ryan and I were all over each other in the steamy hot baths. A week wasn't enough to spend with such an amazing future CEO. And to think that one day I'm going to be his wife. Pearl, I just want you to know that after you send me those messages, HQ sent someone to investigate our branch for embezzlement. Really? They actually showed up to our branch? Does that mean you're finally fired? Brian promised me it would happen when he was in charge, but he acted even faster just to make me happy. My heart is so full. And just know that you have no one else to blame but yourself for being caught in your crime. Actually, someone was fired, and that person was Brian. Wait, uh, what do you mean? 
You're in the office today, right? I think you should head to the meeting room right away. I don't understand. What's going on? Hey, what the heck was all of that back there, huh? I don't understand what just happened. I walked into that room and had a job, and now I'm leaving, and I'm fired? This isn't right! I was supposed to marry the next CEO of our company. How did this happen to me? Pearl, allow me to correct one mistake that you still don't seem to be aware of making. What do you mean? What mistake did I make? Well, you seem to be under the impression that Brian and I were getting engaged to be married, is that right? Wait a second. You mean that you weren't engaged to marry Brian? But... but I thought that everyone in the office told me that you were going to be marrying some future CEO or something like that. And they were correct in telling you that. But the person that I'm going to marry is the next CEO of one of our important business partners. A business partner? Are you kidding me? That's what I said, and it's one of the largest partners in fact. You're kidding me! I had no idea about any of this! And another thing that you got wrong, the next CEO of our company is not Brian. Wait, what do you mean by that? I mean that I'm sure Brian bragged to you that he was the next in line to take over the company simply because he's the oldest son. But the fact is that the current CEO hasn't decided who is going to be taking over yet. But for now, the most likely candidate would be his niece, who is the regional director for one of our largest branches. So then, in that case, what is Brian in all of this? Well, he's being groomed for upper management, it's true. But for now, he hasn't graduated beyond being just another worker. And he's been in that same position for years now. So I don't know if he'll ever get a promotion. He's been in the same position? For years? And here's another thing that you got wrong. I wasn't the one embezzling. Brian was. Please, there has to be some kind of mistake here. No, I'm afraid it's very true. But if it's any consolation, the CEO did want to thank you for revealing exactly who it was doing all of that. What is that supposed to mean? I didn't even say anything. No, not directly. But when you said that you were spending a week on a spa vacation with Brian, it confirmed some suspicions that the CEO had about where certain company funds were going. So then, he figured it all out from my messages? Pretty much, although Brian was also worried that he was close to getting caught. And so before your trip, he had already begun to spread rumors that I was embezzling since I took the most business trips. Before anything too serious could happen to me, however, you revealed exactly where you were and what you were doing with Brian. But I didn't know that I was going to get him in trouble. But you did. You came to me trying to brag about stealing a man who was never mine, and you blew up your own good deal. No, this can't be happening. I thought it was just a little spa vacation. Well, going on that trip made you complicit in the illegitimate use of company's funds. Not to mention is doubled the amount of money spent if Brian has gone on his own. But this is really bad for me, right? I could get in a lot of trouble for this. Why do you think that you were fired in the first place? You and Brian both were. But if Brian was fired, then he's never going to be the CEO. I just told you that it was unlikely he was ever going to be more than he was right now. I warned you that you were still on your trial period with this company, but you thought you could go on doing whatever you wanted. Please, I just need one more chance. I didn't realize what I was doing. Oh, please. We both know that it's way too late for any of that. But why? Well, for one, even though I'm your boss, even I don't have that kind of power. Wait, you're my boss? You really aren't the brightest bulb of the bunch, are you? Anyways, I hope that I've cleared up any confusion for you. Wait, no. Please, you have to help me. Goodbye, Pearl. Following the audit from HQ, Brian was found to have embezzled upwards of $50,000. He was forced to repay the company from his own pocket and was saddled with a huge amount of debt before being fired. It wasn't long afterwards that the present CEO stepped down and handed the reins of power to his niece. 
She's already begun to implement several reforms to how company money is spent, and the whole new system has taken some getting used to. As for Pearl, she ended up cancelling her engagement to Brian and split the cancellation fees for all the reservations they had made. After her firing, Pearl was forced to take on multiple part-time jobs to afford to live. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. Anna? Sorry to bother you. You got a minute? Hey there. What can I do for you? One of our relatives passed away. You remember Bob? Can you come with me to his funeral? Oh, sorry to hear about your loss. Carcel will be there. Just tell me when and where. 10 a.m. tomorrow. P Funeral Home. Can you come a little early? Got it. Anna? Sorry, but there were some last-minute changes to the venue. We're having the funeral at a different place now. Huh? Uh, okay. But I'm already in front of the funeral home. Sorry, dear. Can you come to Peep Hotel instead? Hotel? Uh, this is a funeral, right? Why hotel? Just hurry. Everyone is here already. You're the only one that's not here. Hurry. Okay. Hey, you there? What's going on? This isn't a funeral. This is a wedding. Where are you? What are you wearing? Unbelievable. Hold on. Explain yourself. Right now. I want some answers. Pick up. Shut up already. I told you it was a wedding. Why are you in your morning dress? What's wrong with you? What? You said it was a funeral. Just stop it, okay? Come inside and apologize to everyone right now. I'm so embarrassed. Can't believe you're my daughter-in-law. Hey, I didn't have time to talk to you yesterday, but now you have to explain yourself. You said it was a funeral. Why did you do this to me? What? I never said that I told you it was a wedding. Stop trying to blame me for your own mistake. Uh, but... I got proof right here. It's right on my phone. You said it was a funeral. Stop denying it. Oh, it was probably a typo. My mistake. Why are you so mad? I didn't do it on purpose, okay? Why do you want to make me the bad guy here? You're a terrible person. This is why I didn't want my son marrying you. I warned him, but he didn't listen. Is that why you're harassing me like this? I don't want to say this, but this is really immature of you. Hey, watch your mouth, young lady. Don't push it. And remember, everyone in the family is on my side. I call the shots around here, not you. Remember that. But you're causing trouble for everyone. Just stop. How dare you talk to me like that? Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, my mother-in-law? Shut up! You're always like this. You don't deserve my son. He can do much better than this. This is all your fault. Stop trying to blame me for it. Uh. What's wrong with you, huh? You're so rude. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? This is exactly why I told my son to not marry you. I think we're done here. There's just no talking to you. Let's just do this another time. Goodbye. Hey! Wait, you gotta run away. Answer me, I'm talking to you. Anna, I'm in the hospital right now. I twisted my ankle. It's not that serious, but it hurt. Doctor said I had to be hospitalized for a few days. Oh, okay. Take care. Bye. Hold it. If you come visit me, I'll forgive you for the way you acted last time. Uh... But you hate me, remember? I know, but I'm giving you a chance here. Bring me some melons. I love melons. If you do that for me, I'll forgive you. The food here sucks. Oh, I see. What about your relatives? Are they going to be there too? Of course, they're family. They're all worried sick about me. Unlike you, people like me, okay? But you, I don't know. I don't think they like you very much. 
This will be a good opportunity for you to make a good impression. You already messed up once, so don't screw up again. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, what is your problem? Hello, what is it? Did I forget something in your room? Shut up, you did this, didn't you? It had to be you. Why are all my relatives wearing morning clothes? This is unacceptable. Oh, sorry. I must have misheard you. How you said this was your funeral. My mistake. How dare you? If I'm dead, how am I talking to you, huh? <laughs> True that. Stop laughing. This isn't funny. You messing with me, huh? I'm gonna tell everyone about what you did. You're out of the family. You're finished, you hear me? You still don't get it, do you? What? What are you talking about? Your relatives. They were in on this. They all agreed to help me. What? Impossible! Stop making things up. I'm not like you, okay? I've been taking care of this family for years now. Yeah, and everyone is getting pretty sick and tired of you. You think I believe that? Stop lying. What's wrong with you, huh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Look who's talking. Right back at you. I met lots of people in my life, but... Never met anyone like you before. Everyone hates you. What? Why else would they agree to help me? And the thing you tried to pull at the wedding the other day? I talked to your relatives after you left. They all believed me when I told them my side of the story. I didn't even have to show them our text messages to get them to believe me. They were all furious with you, and I don't blame them. I mean, what kind of person does that just to get back at someone? And you ruined a perfectly nice wedding. Hello? You still there? Why aren't you saying anything, huh? Shut up! Oh, there you are. Oh, by the way, I talked to Uncle Todd too. He said he was sick and tired of you. Aunt Mary said something similar. She hates you too. In case you didn't know, she never liked being around you. And Aunt Selma. Enough! She was like, someday, I'm gonna get her back for everything she's done to me. What's the problem? Just stop, okay? You want an apology? Fine. Sorry. There, happy? What? Uh, doesn't sound like you mean it. Look, I just felt like you were taking my son away from me, okay? I had him in my 30s, so you gotta understand. You love your son. That's fine, but... Why come after me? That makes no sense. I'm the one that raised him. But you took him away from me. That's why I was being so mean to you. I was just messing around with you, okay? Messing around, huh? But you caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. I apologize. Just drop it. I never accepted your apology. And what about the wedding you ruined, huh? How are you planning to make that right, huh? You're out of control. No wonder your relatives hate you. Ugh, fine. I'll apologize to them when I see them. Fine. Go ahead. Not my problem. Not sure if they'll agree to meet you, but whatever. Huh? What does that mean? What do you think it means? Your relatives, they don't want to see you anymore. Huh? So I was just wondering how you're going to apologize to them. And, uh, I never want to see you again either, so... Screw you! Who told you this? Uh, your son, actually. Your relatives had a meeting and they all agreed. They're cutting all ties with you. Hmm, <laughs> sucks for you. What? They would never do this to me. I'm family, there's no way. Wait, I get it. You're lying to me, aren't you? Don't believe me? Fine. Call your son and ask him yourself. He's not picking up. What's going on? Look, not sure if you realize this, but... You hurt your son. He was really upset. Can't say I blame him either. You embarrassed him in front of everyone. He said he was ashamed of you. You ruined a perfectly good wedding for no good reason. You crossed the line. You went too far this time. Whatever. It's too late for that now. But I didn't do anything! This is all your fault. If you really believe that then, I don't know what else to tell you. Whatever. I'm done here. Goodbye forever. But hey, no worries. I'll still go to your funeral when you die. After that, 
every one of her relatives blocked her and shut her out. Her husband passed away years ago, so she was all alone now. She had nothing now. She was on her own. She didn't have any friends either. So family was all she had. She went to see some of her relatives after that, but didn't get past the front gate. They didn't want anything to do with her anymore. Maybe if she took responsibility for what she did, they'll forgive her over time, but... I heard she was still trying to blame me for everything, so... I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Oh well, not my problem. Glad she's out of my life.